Alright, so we have our foundation walls in and now we need to go in and adjust them because they're not quite in the right place and we need to put a, a foundation footing underneath this wall. So we go in and take a look at the footing. This is what it looks like. Um, so to do that, I'm going to go to my structural plan top of slab. This is where we have put our structural plan in there so we can see it and we have dimensions for it. So you can see that this wall needs to move over to here, that corner. So if we go up and take a look at these dimensions, eight and three quarters, three foot six and a quarter, that'll give us four foot three. So we're going to use a dimension to move this. So I'm going to go to my aligned dimension. I'm going to pick the grid line, which we have here. You can see it up here. And then I'm going to go and try to pick the face of the wall. I could tap my tab key to get it. But if you're picking a lot of wall faces, you can come up here and just change the selection default to wall faces, and then you don't have to tap your tab key. So I'm just going to come in here and left click on that wall face, drag my dimension somewhere I can see it, left click on white space to stop the dimension spring, and then escape a couple of times to stop the dimension command. <clears throat> now to move this, you do not want to click on the dimension itself first. You want to pick the thing that you want to move. So I want to move this wall. So if I pick on it, you'll see that that dimension will turn blue, which means I can edit it. So I can pick that for space three, left click outside of it, and it will move that wall. You can delete that dimension after you're done. Um, and then I'm going to move down here <clears throat> We have a grid line here that is off. This grid line needs to actually be moved over here, five foot three from this grid line right here. So I'm going to use the align command, the align dimension command again to dimension between those two. Left click on nothing to stop the string. Escape twice to stop the dimension command. Pick the grid I want to move, and then type in five foot three, and it'll snap that guy into place. Now I can use this grid to align that particular wall to it. So I'm going to go to the align command, it's under the modify, and I'm going to pick the thing I don't want to move, which is the grid, and then I want to pick the thing I want to move to it, which is the face of the wall, and that will move. And then one last time, I'll go to annotate and aligned, and I'll pick this bottom grid line here, and I'll pick the face of this wall here, Pull it out here where I can see it, left click to stop the string, escape twice to stop the command, <clears throat> pick the wall, and the eight and three quarters and nine and <clears throat> nine and one quarter equals ten foot six, so ten space six, and pop that into place. Alright, so we've got <clears throat> the walls pretty much in place, and now we're gonna put the foundation pier below it. So I'm just gonna go to my 3D view here, go to structure. And you'll see under foundation there's a wall, found, structural foundation wall. So we're going to use that. It'll just go in and put a foundation under whatever wall we pick. So I'm going to click on that wall. Right now the bearing footing is 36 by 12. We also have a retaining footing, so it's just the difference in the way the footing is. But I want the bearing footing, which is centered, and I want it to be 24 by 12 because that's how big um, the schedule told us this was. So I'm going to go to edit type duplicate, change this to 24, 12, the name, and then come in and change the width to two feet and click OK. Now it's going to let me go in and pick walls. I could pick them individually, but if I hover over them, tap the tab key, I'm just tapping it, I'm not holding it down, it will select all the connected walls and then I can left click and it will place a footing under those. So if I control Z out of that, again, you go to the structure wall, pick the one that you want, the 24 by 12, hover over one of the walls, tap the tab key, and then left click and it'll put those underneath. All right, so um, next thing we're going to do is work on some isolated slabs.